How's it going, boys? So today we are playing an Etherflux Reservoir Citadel of Bolas Exploration Combo deck. Yes, it is actually pretty good. And yesterday's video didn't happen because energy decks are extremely fiddly to make. Especially in this meta where this is mainly the only thing you play against. But yeah, today this deck, no matter what we're doing it. So, this is a Citadel of Bolas Exploration deck. Old combo, some of you know it, Wild Growth Walker plus Exploration, considering Wild Growth Walker is completely broken because it gives every time something explores 3 life, which is, again, extremely broken. And with Citadel of Blast, technically you can play your whole board instantly. And that's the win condition usually, just hit the enemy con's face with a lot, and it's painful. But now with either Flux Reservoir, well, you don't have to worry about Wild Growth Walkers uh, to sustain the life, and you can still play pretty much everything and anything out of the deck, which is absolutely insane on one hand. Then you got additional win conditions, because getting 50 life with just Wild Growth Walkers is easy. Getting getting 50 life with either Flux Reservoir plus Citadel of Loss, even easier. And Command Dread Horde, just as a side note, Essentially, boys, we have a ton of things in this deck that are absolutely insanely too good. Admittedly, we don't have uh, one staple of the deck. That is, some of you may already have noticed, we do not, do not have Path of Discovery. Instead, we have Collective Company. Collective Company turns out really good in a deck like this. You can get your Azusa easily out, you can get a grow uh, Wild Growth Wild, you can do many things essentially with this. So there are extremely good points of putting in Collective Company. And even if you cast with the Naked Citadel, you're probably not losing life because Wild Growth Walkers and whatnot. Essentially, it's a pretty easy deck to play your whole deck out, and honestly, I don't need these things. I don't know why I have them. I should probably just uh, Zendikar it up a little bit and use uh, use our good old bestie land here, uh, uh, Agadem's Awakening. I don't know. I, I just I just like the art. Now seriously, I do so. I'm keeping it. Oh wait, we should probably go over all the deck. So two Malakirs Rebirth, four Seeker Squires, four Explorers, four Meyer Ulurk Branch Walkers, four Gro Wild Growth Walkers, three Grim Tutors. 3 Azusa Lost But Seeking, 4 Jade Light Rangers, 4 Collective Companies, four, uh, 3 Ether Flux Reservoirs, 3 Boss Citadels, 1 Commanded Dread Horde, and a bunch of lands. 24 lands to be specific. And yes, 2 Azusas and 4 Explorers means that you are rarely gonna get a uh, land screwed while playing the Citadel. Which is honestly an extremely high value point in, uh, in a deck like this. But yeah. Also, you could technically put Land of War Elves, switch the collected uh, company 50% to uh, Path of Discovery, and you're you're probably in a good position. You you have a lot of options, honestly, for things like this, and this is not a bad hand. Not a bad hand in the least. Uh, what are we gonna Grim Tutor, though? I'm gonna go for the deck thinning already instantaneously. No point uh, to wait. And by the way, really good art on these lands. And these forests are actually good looking. It's rare that they put good looking forests in. And it's this kind of piece of shit deck. Wow. 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 I am so happy, boys. Trust me when I say I am the happiest man alive. Again, if you want to concede against something, concede against Dugin decks, uh, Ulamog decks, and uh, what's what, what 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 I forgot what they're called goblin decks yes look at this found in a renewal on golden egg it's a shit fucking Ugin deck but it doesn't matter if it's a shit fucking Ugin deck it's still an Ugin deck which means it's overpowered <sighs> still hoping that wizard bans Ugin and Ulamog finally because it's 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 literally they're just ruining arena. Yeah, no question about it. It's like 50% of the decks that I play in this game are against that crap. So it's not exactly the most thrilling of possibilities, so to speak. And yeah, we can do this and we will have Malachi's Rebirth ready. Admittedly, Malachi's Rebirth doesn't do us anything because goddamn reasons. 
And we don't need double citadel, so we might as well just do this. And look at that, six life, one jade light ranger. Yeah, that's what I call pretty good. But yeah, the deck has, well, the deck can do many things. Admittedly, I really wish we had a better way to play lands. Maybe we could potentially try and fit in four Azusas, but yeah, it's kind of iffy. There's a lot of things you can change to uh, fluctuate the deck in either or direction. Again, Land of Our Elves and Path of Discovery, a uh, pretty good combo. Also, it would give you all the early HP that you honestly want, which is pretty good. So, assuming, actually, don't know what this guy's doing. He has stuff, but he's not doing enough stuff. Well, there's a more labyrinth of scoffos. And what the hell is wrong with you? Who plays that card? Oh, that's a bit annoying, but... Dude, you're the worst! <laughs> oh, and there's a, still a chance. He just needs to get one of those Magic Babagic cards and, you know, it's pretty much over. And this is honestly a very, 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 very potentially good thing. Again, told you, she is extremely, extremely lucrative. In a lot of circumstances. So I'm gonna just get the Ether Flux Reservoir because it's a card. And gonna play this as a land because reasons. Okay, so next turn we can play the Bola Citadel and then we can get Infinity Life. Hopefully, get this. We have a Zuza going on there who he exiled all of our graveyard. It does not matter a lot though. Uh, Wizards still bugging with uh, showing exiled cards in the thing. Honestly, I think we win, unless we get extremely unlucky with the Bolas Citadel, which should be not extremely easy or prophylactic. Well, there's always a chance, boys, uh, but yeah. We have Azusa, so we have a chance to get rid of three, uh, up to three lands, which is phenomenally great, may I add. And yeah, ooh, that's not bad. Also, with her, we can play three lands, which means we can play an Aether Flux Reservoir from our hand if things get really rough. So, there are always bonus points to this. Uh, not happy. Jesus Christ! Okay, good. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, technically, it's not also good, but yeah. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Graveyard. Oof. Graveyard. Yeah, that's fine. And as you can see, the basic combo works pretty well. Oh god, more lands. Great. Is that a land? Oh my god, the, the, the sheer amount of lands, boys. Oh wow. Do I, do I dare? There's no way he can... Five, six, well, technically he can. Okay, let's just go. Let's let's just go for the throat here. Too bad we had. Uh, too bad we had to do. Well, we could have actually kind of avoided it. Okay, good, 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 good. Because you see, this thing you can actually play it on something, and oh, oh my, the amount of cockatry. The amount of sheer, unquestionable cockatry that just happened. Dude, that's 50% land draw ratios. Well, this... And we didn't get... Damn. Man, we lost big there, not gonna lie, boys. We did lose big there. Wait, is he not gonna do anything? Well, fine by me, enemy. Come and watch as Dieter Flux Reservoir makes you cry. Because that's just life. Yeah, he loses. There is no way this happens again. Seriously, there should be absolutely no way. Up to Eater Flux Reservoirs. Yeah, no, no matter what happens in Mikun, you're done. You you are just done. Disgusting and done. Okay, a Jade Light Ranger, that's absolutely fine. So yeah, the combo pretty much works itself out. Ooh, yes, Collective Company. Actually, don't care too much about it. But we can honestly keep it. But we can send it also in the graveyard. Bam. That we're gonna keep in the library, for obvious reasons. Because that helps us a lot, honestly. Because you can cast it, and then you draw a card, and then you can play more lands from the... Jesus! Okay, boys, I think we're gonna get a lot of life. Yeah, 
I, I perceive a lot of life. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna be a decent amount of life. Okay, uh, that can stay in the library. It's gonna give us more HP than we lose, so you know, you, you know, technically, amazing. Okay, yeah, I don't care. We're gonna, by the way, get a get out a basic land or something because that's just the best thing to Grim Tutor at this point. Oh boys, enemy Kun is not exactly ecstatic about what's going on. He isn't. Also, we should probably just hit his stupid face. Or we could do something else. Kinda undecided just yet. Okay, another Citadel of Balas. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, by the way, yeah, just gonna establish a little bit of that sweet, sweet dominance right there. Ah, oh, boys. Well, I told you, the deck is pretty decent. It has a lot of ways to do extreme amounts of questionable things that should not be... Well, to be honest, they should not be allowed. Hey, but when, when, but when we're living in a day and age where Ugin and whatever his face is, is the only things that are being played, well, don't blame me, honestly, just don't. Oh, single Wild Growth Walker, honestly, I'm fine with that. And again, look, we can cast anything and we're just not losing anything, which is the best part. Look at this, it's gonna explore, we're gonna get 3 billion HP, and, well, that's pretty much all she wrote. <laughs> ah, boys, everything's a life gain deck if you try hard enough. And yeah, that's 9 life. God, what a balanced card, the Wild Growth Walker. But anyway, yeah, I guess onward we go and now we can just actually kill him. I I'm tired of doing the thing. But as you can see, playing the whole deck instantaneously, not hot. Admittedly, it wasn't hard with the previous version, but the previous version only won by hitting face with creatures. Uh, this version does not exactly require it. This version just, no. Well, previously you could, uh, you could put in a Samut Planeswalker for 4 mana, and it would honestly kind of do the job. Plus it had Scrying, up, uh, minus 1, so that was... Actually, not that bad. So, yeah. But, yeah, now you can just... Well, the flexibility of this deck has increased tremendously. That's essentially what I'm trying to say. Also, what I'm trying to say, this is extremely questionable, but hey. I'm extremely well known for questionable life choice decisions. Also, this is not exactly bad, because we're gonna get this. I and I have the feeling that we're gonna get a land. Oof. I have no idea if that's good or bad. Oh, not a good animation, honestly. Well, most of those cards, honestly, don't have good animations. Okay, can I get a black land? Thank you. Oh, look at that! It's not a black land. Game! Oh, thank you. Okay, now it's a black land. Now I can do this. Ooh, Command the Dread, Dread Horde. Actually, not bad for these circumstances. Okay, and we can get a Swampy Boy out. Not sure what this guy's uh, game plan is. Maybe it's Be Annoying, Vin Guim. Not sure. Yeah, but now I can drop an e uh, Ether Flux Reservoir and essentially just, uh, well, go for it. <gasps> oh god, it's just a Veto combo deck. No! Do you have it on five, you piece of shit? No, you don't. Good, 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 good. Uh, we're gonna do this because we are kind of searching for m multiple lands. Well, we're actually searching just for two lands and a citadel. So this is our best chance to acquire what we want in life. Okay, or if we get two lands, we can always Grim Tudor and hope that he does not have it on five. Which is always a problem. But anyway, that's a decent amount of exploration. Yeah, the deck does do a decent amount of combo wombos. Let's see it, believe it. No, that goes into the graveyard nowadays. And this, not exactly Sugoi, but I'm honestly okay with it, kinda-ish. No reason to attack, because he's just looking for one piece of the puzzle at this po uh, moment in time, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy about that. Not happy at all. Enemy Kun, please. 
Also, we could do... Oof. Wait, he did nothing there. Okay. I'm honestly extremely okay with that. Yeah, he can win pretty much any moment now. The bad part... Well, that's the bad part. There's Also, there's no good part about it. There's just a bad part about it. Uh, let's take a black land. Honestly, it does not matter. And let's hope that this is a land. Oh, boys. the time! The, what a time to be alive when you want to find lands in the game. Oh, magic. Could do a potentially landfall deck, honestly, with this, but hey. Also, oh, also, you can do a, a pretty neato tingo. Uh, the four cost Kaladesh. That's not a land. It looks like a land, but it's not a land! Oof. Well, he can't win next turn, so I still have all the po uh, possibilities. But yeah, we should do a mono black deck about life gain and veto. I have a pretty good combo lined up for that, so, you know, always options. Okay, what is better? Collective company or two drops? I, I'm gonna go for the two drops. Okay, any moment now. I believe. I believe he's not. Well, he still can't win. That's like the thing. Uh, yeah, not gonna go for the Grim Tudor. And not gonna go for that. That was amazing. So, oh, 50% of our deck is lands now. Great. Well, close to 50. No, actually, more? Six. Seven. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, well, close. Under 50%, come on. Oh, finally got a land. Pay life, establish dominance. What now, enemy queen? What now? Okay, not bad. So, yonder I wonder, what can I ponder? You're not winning with that veto. And you can't pull off the infinity combo next turn. I could pull off some nasty things next turn, but you're not getting it done, huh, enemy queen? Woo! Uh, yeah, just gonna attack with everything. Why not? You're a J Salvatar. No one's gonna have pity for you. Really? Is that your level of desperation there? Wow. Wow. That's impressively desperate. You know? Someone someone give this guy a medal. Yeah, that's, that's, that's extreme desperation to actually do that. Woo! Well, that's fine. Well, honestly, you can still find a lot of things that just flat... Well, 50% of our deck is gone. Honestly, we don't need 50% of our deck to win. But, here's hoping. So, if we start off with an Azusa, we're in, a good, uh, we're in good positions. The question is, do we get an Azusa? We most likely get a land. I'll let it at least be a fable passage. <laughs> well, this guy's honestly not getting anywhere close to victory. And if he attacked every turn, we would have already won. Some people say that me and not attacking every turn is a mistake. But those people obviously just do not understand the finite... Uh, something something lies. But yeah, those people do not understand that. Graveyard. Let's see it to believe it. And that's a land. Oh, and that's another land! How did- Oh, how did I guess? Wow. But it's fine. For next turn, we have a playable collective co And again, this guy is not even close to winning. Is there anything he can even block to win? Doesn't that still kill him? Yeah, that still kills him. See? We don't even need the actual combo to, like completely decimate enemy con it's just optionable also by the way i am gonna try a combo like this extremely similar uh but it's gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna still use explore but we're not gonna use any wild growth walkers or any of those shenanigans we're gonna uh, we're gonna kind of uh uh well just move around the ball is, uh, the ball is sitting at a land problem with Explore, but in a little bit of a different way. It should be interesting, it should definitely be interesting. So yeah, okay, a Citadel on hand, and a Wild Growth Walker and a Murph. Why do I have the feeling I'm getting baited? It's, it's a Trasdani Avatar. 
I have the feeling I'm getting extremely hot baited here. She even has the waifu sleeves. I don't know, boys. I don't know. And people have been asking me why I'm not using the waifu Kiora sleeves. Because every time you make a deck, you need to go in and manually change it to Kiora sleeves. Yeah, not great. Okay, oh, interesting. Also, good thing we drew that, otherwise he would be off curve. And technically, that pay to life did nothing. Wolven Haven, haven't seen that in a while. Hmm. Ooh, a Pegasus. Enemy, can you know what? No one cares. Okay, anyway, land? Land! Okay, that's not bad with collective company. Yeah, you see, this is the part where the actual hit face is the play style, uh, game style actually works out pretty well. And this is where Collective Company works out pretty well. Even though it's arguably an extremely weak deck to put in Collective Company because the abysmal amount of, well, non-existent one-drops. Uh, but that is just life. And what the fuck is this? It's a... Look at your top no one cares things in Wolvenhaven again. Wow. What a lad, what a chad. Anyway, uh, here's some a little bit of that. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, attack everything. I guess this is really... Okay, let's... Yep, well, that's... That's... That's rare. Ish. Kinda. Wow. Okay, Collective Company found nothing. I know, 18 creatures. Some of you are saying, Collective Company's not supposed to be... Shut up. You have absolutely no clue what you're talking about, most likely. You would probably be making a deck like this that run out, runs out of cards. You know? And you would probably say, that's a good deck. That's honest. A deck like this is the lowest skill in Magic. Because it does not... Oh, okay, he does have draw engines. At least that's good for him, I guess. But the point is... Decks that do not have a way to perpetually uh, create card advantage are the literally worst decks in goddamn magic. Do you know why? Because they rely on drawing their stupid combo or they completely 100% brick. Yeah, that's why they're not exactly great. Also, come on land, boys! Also, I need to get rid of that because it's getting a little bit annoying. Hopefully he also does not top deck an enchantment, which is gonna be hard to do with Culex. Well, which is not gonna be hard to do with Culex. But we're gonna see what happens. Maybe enemy Kun just decides, hey... Yeah, I was gonna say exactly that. Maybe enemy Kun just decides that, hey, uh, that wild growth walker, really wild and really grothy, so uh, just gonna get rid of it real quick. Also, that is 100% not the play. Okay, boys. It's simple. It's not a land. Okay, is this a... Oh, it's actually a land. Well then, Ether Flux Reservoir, congratulations. I pick you. You're like a Pokemon, only better because you're actually functioning. And you don't speak your name every three goddamn seconds. But then again, you're not Ditto who can turn into a MILF boss or Primal boss or Tight, 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 tight Gap MILF or... Yeah... Something something... Oof, Tight Gap MILF. Okay, where was I? Uh, man oh, right, 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 right. Uh, not having... Si Wait, oh, we're missing a black... Oh, seriously, game? Oh, of course. Of course. Well, again, we are, well, we are getting enough HP, and enemy Kun is probably thinking over life, and, well, how the fuck did he get into this situation? Technically, he's winning, but at the same time, I, I think deep down inside, he kind of understands the situation he's in. The fact that he is uh, drawing lands like there is absolutely no tomorrow, so congratulations, welcome to the club. And two, I am not, I do not have a black land somehow. 
all the fable passages, all the everythings we have in this deck, and we can't even draw a singular goddamn bl Here it is. Okay, so here's hoping. So that's a decent amount of life already. Bam! And, oh god, yes! You know what that does? It finds stuff. You know what that finds? Honestly, nothing too, too cool, but it's fine. Okay, that is honestly exactly what we wanted. And now enemy is probably... Sadness. Uh, library, library. There's no point in not putting them, uh, them topside. Oh, yes! Azusa, please, baby. Nice. Okay, I think enemy couldn't... Uh, well, he should un pay life, establish dominance. He should understand what's happening, because our life gain is just a little bit off the hook. Library. Again, everything gives us life. Nothing does not give us life. Look at this. Just, just play those cards. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing those cards. I'm j actually just gonna activate it. Library. And bam. As you can see, super simple. But we are gonna do a different uh, version of this deck a little bit later on. Which will have technically far more ramp, far more, well, far less search, I would like to say, than this. Uh, but it's gonna have things in it. And those things are gonna be, well, pretty great, not gonna lie. And so, with that, it's gonna be good. Because there is an extremely alternative version of a th this deck that I have concocted. But currently, we can milk this old version out for a little bit more money. Welcome to YouTube, boys! Okay, let's see. Collective Company and two... Eh, two of those playables and Grim Tutors. Two Grim Tutors, to be exact. Are you gonna be an Ugin deck? No! Ah, oh, you're an aggro deck, huh? Yeah, when I see this, I see nothing else but aggro decks. It literally has aggro written all over it. But if we're lucky... Okay, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. Hmm. Okay, paid life. Well, here's the Dread Horde. Whatever. Uh... Gonna actually pop this, because we don't want that many lands. Chances are we're finding them no matter what, so this is fine. Also, I want this better than that. Also, there's extremely low chances... Graveyard. Okay, so currently our start is relatively good. Relatively. Okay... Wait! That's disgusting! You absolute mongrel! Damn it! By the way, this card does look like a dog, if anyone's wondering. Look at this! It's a fucking pit bull for some reason when I look at it. Oh! Wait, this is the bad version of the deck where it tries to use a uh, storm wing entity because, uh, well, it has scry too and it's easier to... It's, it's essentially a dumb combo card that people use because they think it's good. But honestly, everything else they could do with this is, well, a hundred times better to say the least. Let's see, what do we want here? Well, probably Azusa. Okay, if we draw lands, collective company again. Yes! That's actually good. That's... Wait, they don't have the... Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, so the plan is simple, boys. The plan is as simple as this. God, he's going deep, huh? Well, we can still play this, uh, the Seeker Squire, which is good. He's gonna probably go for the kill on this if he can. But honestly, is killing that even worth it? I would kill this. Oh, he really want- Oh, because- Shock. God damn it! It's so stupid! It's so irreversibly stupid, but honestly, Azusa not dying is a point of content for me. Though that's 7 damage. Jesus Christ, that's now 8 damage. How many things did he do? By the way, this is a stupid card because you have a first striking flying haste, a uh, fairy dragon or whatever the fuck it is, and that costs only 2 man, doesn't have a convoluted uh, get out condition, and essentially, well, in literally every sense of the word, is just 
flat out better than this this thing. Uh, collect. I'm actually gonna leave Collective Company right there. We have a chance to draw a lot of things with that, and if we do, we're gonna win because he's not gonna out DPS us. Hopefully. Oh, light up the stage. Oof. Yeah, you see this thing. And now he does... Well, he has one land. To, no, he played the land. Oh, you poor schmuck! Yeah, and you didn't deal damage to me, so you can't get light out of the stage. Schmuck! Also, honestly, yeah, you're actually losing your Dread, uh, dread Horde Arcanist. Stupid dog. Well, that's actually 100% fine with me, boys. I'm gonna block it with everything just because I can. Okay, he thinks he's in a good position. Can't honestly blame him because he kinda is. But at the same time, this collective company is gonna strike big. <laughs> well, close enough, I guess. Graveyard. Uh, graveyard. <laughs> yeah, well, again, we're surviving a little bit longer. Also, I'm attacking with everything, because I can kill you next turn. Yeah, how about them potatoes? He t again, live game. Oh my god! I'll light up the stage for nothing. Okay, that's bad, though. Okay, can he get enough damage to kill me? I think it's impossible, right? He needs two more casts. Technically, he can get it. Technically. Oh, you poor schmuck! Oh, you disgraceful creature! Oh, my lord. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, that is not... That is 100% that is not delish. Oh, enemy con. Okay, let's... So, let's play this first and see what we get. Uh, no. Actually, not gonna take that for now. Okay, so here's the point. We attack with everything. He needs to block something, which means something dies. This can't die. And again, I think we're protected. Because he has uh, he has things in his... Oh, you're doing actually that. Well, I guess it's reasonable. Okay. If something really, really bad happens, we can Grim Tudor and still get a Mire ver uh, something. Am I dead now? Yep, exact lethal. Okay, so that's great. You draw three shocks. Amazing. And you played them five times. Ah, it's the luck of the draw, boys. It's the luck of the draw. God, I hate Dreadcore Darkness. Such goddamn dog cards. Ugh. Most of the Dread Horde, uh, Dread Horde cards look, by the way, garbage. Like, the, like, the, uh, Amaz the Dread Horde, in my opinion, is a good card. It's just the simple fact that no one wants to play it because the tokens look so goddamn bad. And the whole point of that expansion was that there's a giant Dread Horde and whatever, but... Okay, let's just look at some of those cards, right? Oh, uh, standard, historic, and let's see. Uh, Teros, no. War of the Spark. Uh, Ravnica, no. Wait, is that the only expansion? War of the Spark. Yeah, I guess War of the Spark is the only... Seriously, was it the only one? Well, anyway. A mass. Let's look at some of these cards. This, this card looks good. The art makes absolutely no sense what, what the hell is going on, but the zombie token, disgusting. This looks kinda nice, but it's last off plating, so no one plays it. This, kinda okay-ish, but again, no one plays it because it's bad. This, 50-50, but it's bad, so no one plays it. This, bad, and no one plays it. Uh, Commence the, well, Commence the Endgame's not exactly a zombie, um, um, a mess, but yeah, look at this. Come uh, a uh, dread horde invasion, the staple card for a mass dex. Disgusting. Look at this, an actual dog. One of the better cards in the set for aggro. Disgusting. This thing, actually not bad. 
still disgusting. It has a mask too. I never used it. But yeah, look at this. Disgust so bad. This is actually quite nice, honestly. This, arguably bad. Arguably disgusting. This, kinda okayish. have seen it a few times. But look at this. If you pay attention to the guy on the right, uh, right side, what the hell is he doing? God, this. Kinda cool, but at the same time, eh? This, <laughs> completely disgust. Okay, let's look at the better cards. Uh, Enter the God Eternals. Decent art at best. It's white, too white for some reason. The colors are washed out. What are they, attacking while it's misty? Dude, it's an army of undead, almost unkillable things. Why would you need to invade while it's foggy or whatever? Uh, invade the city. Good art, bad card. This thing. Good, good card, bad art. And my favorite, obviously. Widespread brutality. Ba like, half of this car art is good. Like, the, running the people who are running away, kinda good. The guy uh, setting up the b village ablaze, very not good. Oh, and this. Angram, Chains of Chaos, a mass 2, minus 2 creatures you can control gets menace. So bad. Like, all of the art for a mass is just bad. That's why a mass never took off. Some people played Dreadhorde Invasion and it felt bad. Because the things you got from these... Well, you need, no one wants to play a deck that just looks disgusting. No one wants to play a deck that just literally looks disgusting. And Red Horde Darkenist is a completely disgusting looking dog card. So, anyway, this is the deck. It's pretty good. As you can see, it can do a lot of things. If you get a little bit more lucky with the things, it's fine. We're gonna do, again, we're gonna be doing a later version with zero explore creatures. And trust me, it's gonna be a lot better. Well, maybe not. I haven't done it, but I have theorized it a lot. So, there you have it, boys. Anyway. So this was Quizar Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye bye.